Hello, I'm James from Gladwin's Body Repair Centres and I'm here today to take you on a guided tour through the body shop. Hello Gary. Hello James. Hi. So what is it you're repairing here today? Well what we've got here is a front bumper off a customer's car. Fairly typical damage, one of the retaining lugs has been broken off so we're going to do the same repair on both sides of the bumper. Right. The reason we're going to repair it is quite simply it means there's a cost saving because the amount of time and effort into repair it compared to the cost of replacing the part is greatly reduced. Right. Customer doesn't have to wait for the car so long because the chances are the dealer's not going to have the bumper in stock. We're going to be waiting for that part so if we repair it we can get the car out in the same day. And from an environmental point of view, some of these are recyclable, some of them aren't. But obviously if they're not recyclable, they end up going to landfill and it's quite a chunk of plastic to be throwing away. So what we're going to use is a, a special structural adhesive that's almost like a liquid plastic. So it's the same material almost that the bumper's moulded from originally. Right. So as long as you do the correct process, then that repair, by the time we've rebuilt that bit, that repair will be as good as the original part. We've also got a headlight here where the tab's been broken up in the accident and again the same thing applies, we haven't got to wait for the part, we're not disposing of the part and we save some money by doing it. But because we've still got the original piece, all we're going to do is a process to reattach that to the headlight and again as you mentioned there it will be as strong as the original headlight. And then this one here. There's nothing at all wrong with the headlight apart from it's got a few scratches on the front there. So again, a different process, but we're gonna go through a process to remove those scratches, polish the headlight back up again, and it'll be perfectly good to go back on the vehicle. Okay, let's take you to the other side of the body shop and we'll see what's happening over there. Hello John. Alright, how are you how doing? Are you? Good, not bad. Yeah. So uh, what are we doing here this afternoon? Uh, basically I'm just uh, saving these two mouldings and also this life badge on this Astra here. Uh, Going to use a heat inducer to remove them uh, right. so that later on they can be uh, put back on the vehicle. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, usually like say, we'd take them off and order new ones, but they're just down in for a blend. Uh, by saving them, it's keeping the average repair cost down on the vehicle.
Hello, Anthony. Hello. How are you? Um, All right. What's going on here with the uh, with this vehicle? Well, we've got a small repair on the wheel arch and part on the door. Right. Um, we're just going to start cleaning it up, ready for filler. Uh, we've got to square the edge up here and keep it as small as possible. Hello, Esther. Hi. Now, I know we have a high volume of dented panels that come into the body shop here for repair, but how exactly do we go about repairing those? Yeah, we have a number of ways of doing that. It really means, can we get behind the repair to actually push the repair? Right. So if you imagine this panel was dented, what we would do is we'd grind the paint off so we get to fresh metal, and basically weld pins along the area right. and allow bar to go behind. We then put a piece of equipment above it to pull the pins. One first, second, third, fourth, so it pulls the panel straight again, right. allowing us to get to an area where we can actually then repair it. If you want to wander over here, we'll have a look at the one we're going to do. Fantastic. 